As I said earlier, chances are you've probably been in one of these situations, and you might even have convinced yourself you've got your own special routine guaranteed to keep yourself awake. A cold splash in the face, for example. And who can forget the old standards? The old wind-in-the-face routine. Cranking up the radio. Self-punishment is fairly popular. And hey, most people think these things actually work. But the truth is, that's a perilous misconception. Your brain is smart. You can't trick it into thinking it's alert when it decides it's time to shut down. So, what do you do? Well, there are several active steps you can take to avoid having a sleep-related accident. But the fact of the matter is, the more you plan ahead for your drive, the better you'll be able to prevent drowsiness at the wheel. At the top of the list, get plenty of sleep before you hit the road. Simply not getting one's required amount of sleep. This is epidemic in our society. The least you can do is start out with your sleep tank filled to capacity. Plan your schedule ahead of time to include regular stops at two-hour intervals or every hundred miles or so. Try to work it out so you can drive with a buddy. Keep your eye on each other and watch for any signs of drowsiness. When traveling in a group, make sure someone stays rested and ready. Someone just like a designated driver who plans ahead to drive wide awake and sober when it's his or her turn. Avoid driving while taking alcohol or any kind of medication which could make you drowsy. Read the labels carefully. And there are a couple of times a day when the body just wants to go to sleep naturally. So be especially on the lookout if you're on the road during the mid-afternoon hours or the hours between midnight and 6 a.m. Okay, let's say you've ignored all these suggestions I've just made. Or for whatever reason, you find yourself out on the road. You notice the signs of drowsiness. All those things like yawning, nodding, eyelids drooping. Rumble strips! The instant you notice any signs you're becoming drowsy, it's time to do something about it immediately. What, you ask? Well, the best way to protect yourself against the dangers of drowsy driving is to pull off the road and find a safe place to rest. It might get you there a bit later, but think of it as the rest of your life. And while a good hot cup of coffee or tea can open your eyes a bit, thanks. don't overestimate the restorative powers of caffeine. A bit of caffeine is good for short-term alertness. But remember these two things. Number one. Caffeine needs some time to take effect. And number two, it's temporary, a short-term remedy at best. Sometimes it doesn't even work at all. So don't assume you're home safe with just one cup. One major advantage to staying heads up at the wheel is the ability to keep a sharp lookout for the other guy. You're not the only one at risk of dozing off. Every year, drowsy driving-related mishaps run well into six figures. And we don't want any of you to be one of them. To prevent that, your Northwest Ford dealers are working together to spread the word. Increasing public awareness is the first priority toward reducing the number of sleep-related crashes. That's why we've partnered with the National Sleep Foundation to help you drive heads up at the wheel and get home safe. We're working to generate year-round interest, especially around peak holiday driving weekends. And we're reaching out to spread the word among young people at schools and in front of civic and community groups, as well as the general TV viewing public. It's all part of the 4th of July weekend, but the holiday weekend is also a danger zone for drowsy driving. That's why Northwest Ford dealers and the National Sleep Foundation are launching the Heads Up at the Wheel program today. We're hoping more and more people will wake up and take notice. And we'd like to encourage all of you to tell others about Heads Up at the Wheel and Home Safe. Every one of us stands to benefit from lowering the number of drowsy driving accidents. It's not enough just to target the high-risk groups, either. Every driver is potentially at risk, and not just from his or her own drowsiness. The more drowsy drivers out there on the road, the greater the risk to you, even if you're wide awake. You can help us spread the word and save lives. Remember, if you find yourself drowsy at the wheel, and you think you can wake yourself up, you're wrong. The odds are you can't. When you see the warning signs, do something about it right away. One last reminder. 
If you're a passenger, keep an eye on the driver. Make sure he or she stays heads up at the wheel. That way, everybody gets home safe.